Sup dudes, it's Snail. I hope you're having a good day, but if you updated your Fallout 4, you probably aren't. Lots of people are reporting that the new update is not only breaking every single mod they have, but is also just not a very good update. It doesn't have a lot of content, the quests contained in it aren't very good, and let's be honest, no one uses vanilla weapons, so the weapons don't matter anyways. This has led to a lot of anger online being directed at Bethesda. I gotta tell you, I wanted to believe this update would be good. Looks like Todd got me again. So I've spent the better part of my day putting out fires and trying to advise and troubleshoot people in the comments on my last video. That was a video about how to stop your Fallout 4 from updating automatically. However, there is a little bit of light at the end of this tunnel and that's that there is a way to roll back your Fallout 4 update. It's been tested, it's been proven and tried. Okay, a member of our own community actually tested this and then posted the instructions. And this is proof that we have literally the most alpha giga chad community here on YouTube. Plays for the win 7876, thank you so much for these instructions, these are wonderful. So now I'm going to walk through this with you guys. I'm going to purposely update my own Fallout 4 in order to roll it back. But before we get into that, let's take a quick moment if this helps you at all in any way. Hi, I'm Snail. I normally make videos about Fallout 4 mods. If you'd be so kind as to leave me a like on the video if this helped you, and a subscribe if you're feeling generous, I would greatly appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now for the sake of this video, you can see I future-proofed myself against the update, but this is how much I like you guys on YouTube. I'm going to download the update and purposely nuke my mods. Okay, so we're back and I have updated the game. Hopefully this works. Please God, let this work. So the method we're going to be using to roll back the update is we're going to be downloading depots from the Steam console. Now you're not just going to be downloading one single depot, you need to download several depots. Those depots we're going to download are the ones listed by plays for the win. This is the full set of depots you're going to need to download. And you're going to have to do each one individually. So from there what you'll do is you'll open the Steam console. And how you do that is you're going to post steam colon slash slash nav slash console in your address bar in your browser. Press enter and it's going to prompt you to open steam. Open steam and there you have it. We're going to go to console and we're going to start with the very first line. So copy, paste, download depot and it's downloading the depot. The depot's been completed. It's been downloaded to the, ooh, we don't want that there. So there's no effective way to change where the download path of a depot is, but fortunately what you can do is you can move the actual depots once they've been downloaded. So we're gonna open a new folder in <clears throat> one of our bigger drives and we're gonna name it depots, just to have everything stored away. And then we're going to open another file explorer and we're gonna follow the file path of the depot download and we're gonna move the depot from the original file path over to the new one. And then from there, we're going to repeat this process until all of these have been downloaded. Now, downloading the depots is going to take you a while, unfortunately. But it's going to be well worth it once you realize that you can actually go back and play with your mods again. Okay, so we're back. We followed all of Plays for the Win's advice. We installed all the directories off the Steam console. Now it's time for the next steps. He details, you have to download all these, copy them to your Fallout directory. So let's go ahead and do that. We set them aside in a folder. In order to get to the Fallout directory, a quick way to do that is to right-click Fallout 4, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. There we are. So over here in the Fallout directory, go to your depots, and we're going to go to each individual depot. And then we're going to take the files that are in the depots, and we're going to copy these to the Fallout directory. We're going to replace the files. And the last three directories should just be data folders. Now what we're going to do with these is we're going to take each of these data folders and we're going to move them to data. We're going to take these, replace, and we'll just repeat this process until we've moved absolutely everything. Now, once we've finished emptying out the depot folders, although you should probably opt for copying them rather than dragging them over like I did, you have to go to your data folder and then you have to look for all the files that start with a CC. These are Creation Club files. Now what Plays for the Wind did was he cut them and pasted them into a different folder on his desktop. That is exactly what I'm going to do, reason being is because I don't want to deviate from his instructions. So I'm going to cut them, then I'm going to go back to my depot folder and I'm just going to, I don't know, make a new folder, CC, content, open, paste. There we go. 
Now the last and final thing to do is to see what happens when we launch Fallout 4 Script Extender. Let's find out. Oh my freaking god, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's see if my main menu replacer sound is working. Oh my god, it's working. Alright, let's try loading in. Alright, we're gonna load in with Megan's save file to see if we still have all our mod stuff. Oh my god. We still have- <gasps> I still have body slides! Sweet! Hell yeah, let's go do some combat. Alright, let's go harass these super mutants. So yeah, that method works perfectly fine. It downgraded my version after I had updated it, and it's the method to roll back if you still want to play with your mods. So if you'd like to roll back your update, if you didn't get it in time to actually block the update, you can still roll back. It's not too late. Alright guys, that being said, if this helped you at all roll back your update to be able to play with your mods, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I make mod videos all the time, at least once a week. You're gonna love it here, I can already tell. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you pass this along to someone who needs it. I'm Snail, take care, brush your hair, and see you next time.